everybody, pleased to hear with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Today, since it's Wednesday, I thought I would do a Wallet Wednesday video because I haven't done one in a while. And um, <laughs> I always start out with these good intentions and then, you know, months go by before I do another Wallet Wednesday or Throwback Thursday or Flashback Friday. <laughs> um, so, but I, I recently... I really got into this uh, wallet style, which was, uh, I surprised myself when I did that, and so I thought I would talk about it. This is a, uh, the RFID turn lock wallet, um, called turn lock because of the closure. It has this uh, turn lock clasp on a flap. Um, Oh, when I and this is cat's meow, of course. And um, when I was younger, I, I really liked this kind of a clasp, the turn lock. There was something fun about working it. But uh, when I initially got into Vera, I wasn't so into it. I felt like I didn't like a lot of hardware interrupting the fabric, and and um, and I think that's I, I, so I was having a resistance to it. And it, it is a rather large wallet, and initially I was liking smaller wallets, but that has changed. Um, <clears throat> I still like a smaller wallet for when I'm carrying a smaller bag, but um, if I have a big bag, then I like to go big with the wallet, too. <laughs> Why the hell not? <laughs> anyway, um, but what got me to try this was that I was, you know, up late trolling the internet, uh, trying to find some cat's meow that wasn't used, <laughs> which is a challenge <clears throat> and getting harder and harder to do. But I did manage to find a site that had a few last little things left, and one of them was a Turnlock wallet. Uh, I think they might have had a backpack at the time. Um, which doesn't seem to be there, and this they don't have this anymore either. <clears throat> I just recently tried to order another one. They had it, still looked like it was in stock on their website, but then they sent me a note apologizing. They had to cancel the order. They were mistaken. They didn't have it anymore. So, anyway, I saw that it was Cat's Meow, and I, I wasn't, I said, oh, I'm not really into the turn lock, but you know what? It's Cat's Meow. I'll give it a shot. And, um, so that's what got me started with it, and but I didn't know any of the features. I, I I didn't know anything about it really, and I didn't bother going on the Vera website to check it out. I, you know, I just thought, well, it's cat's meow, so <laughs> I'm just gonna suck it up and deal with it no matter what. <clears throat> and when it came, I was very pleased. Um, so I'll go over the features. Let me just get the measurements before I forget. It's it's like I said, it's larger. It's about eight, almost eight this way, and five that way, and then I guess about an inch and a half when there's not much in it, inch and a quarter, an inch and a quarter thick. Um, so the front uh, uh, just has the, I'm just realizing there's no pleather label, which is kind of nice. Um, the front is the part with the, the turn lock uh, clasp and the flap covering it, and the back has a, a zipper pocket that sort of gusseted on one edge. Um, oh. <laughs> and I like that. I always like the, the zipper pocket uh, somewhere on the, on the wallet. Um, I should note that this uh, wallet is constructed from one piece of fabric all the way around. There's no seam here. And so if the fabric has an obvious right side up, you know, when you turn it around, everything is upside down. And that's very, you know, uh, noticeable here because all the cats are then upside down, which is a little bit of a shame, but, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> still, still so in love with this pattern. Very, very cute pattern. I feel like I lucked out with this flap too because uh, for this clasp because here you get this the gray this gray cat here and the flap is the same cat head right there so they almost overlap <laughs> almost make a nice join there not quite but but I feel like I, I did good nothing too truncated nothing too decapitated um, and there's a nice little cat on the flap 
You know, that's the problem with little sections, right? The fabric gets cut up, and that's when it can get kind of, you can get awkward parts of the pattern kind of cut up and mashed together. So I feel like I did, I did pretty good here. Now everyone's always wanting the cat in the bag. So the cat in the bag is right on the uh, curve there. Anyway, so now when you, the wallet has two sections. It, the, the, the part that's the turn lock uh, flap, whatever, lays flat, which I love. I love a wallet that lays flat, easy access. Um, and so when I opened it, I, I was really, oh, I knew that was going to happen. I think I knew that was going to happen. But what I wasn't, I don't think I was really so aware of was that there are two ID windows. And I, I don't have, I only have my driver's license. I, you know, I, I could imagine some people might, that might be handy for them if they need their driver's license and they also have like a work ID or something. And then this, this might be very handy for that. Um, but when I, I, when I saw it, I immediately thought I can put a photo there. I can put a photo of Duke there. My, my head went, I, I'm still, you know, so sort of, really morning Duke that I, that was initially, you know, that was immediately where my head went. Oh, I can put a photo of Duke there. And so I, I, when I saw that, I just became like sort of obsessed with his wallet style. Because I can do that. It doesn't always have to be Duke. I mean, it could be my dad or my husband and some of the other, you know, turn lock wallets that I have since acquired. <laughs> um, let's hope my husband doesn't see this video. Luckily, he's not that interested, so he doesn't watch them. <laughs> um, probably just jinx myself. Anyway, but that that really, when I saw that, like I said, just put me over the top. So you've got the two um, ID windows there with the cutouts, so you can sort of slide things up easily. The cutouts in the plastic, and then behind that is a wider, like a bill uh, slot. There, just a, a long slip there. Now on the other side, you got six card slips. It's just the recycle guy. But you got crud on you. Uh, sorry for the garbage truck noise if it's coming through. That might be coming through. The recycling guy is coming by. He was supposed to come yesterday. Um, and then you got another, you know longer slot there that you could put bills in there, more bills in there. I have other things in there, receipts and other things. But that's so six card slots, and I, that's a good amount. Um, although I do like a lot. And uh, and you've got the zipper section with more card slots, so that works out nicely. So in this zipper section, which is gusseted, doesn't open super wide, um, so that's a little frustrating, but I deal with it. And on one wall, you get again got card slots. Let's take it. So you got let me see. One, two, three. You got six more card slots there. Um, so that's nice. And then on the other side, another longer um, slip, you know, that would accommodate bills. And then this divide. This is just a divider dividing the section, and that's where the label is. There's a little near a label there. But <clears throat> what I really like about this section is that it has some width to it. And I can slip my phone, this is an iP iPhone 11, <laughs> fits right in there. Um, no problem. And it zips up. No problem. So if I just wanted to go out with this and not a bag, I can get my phone in there and just sort of, you know, contain more things. So um, I love a while that I can do that with. So that was, you know, when I saw I could do that, and I had a feeling I might be able to do that when I saw how big this was, but just to confirm that I could do that was great. And my phone, uh, is in a, a, a case, somewhat slim case, with a tempered glass on the front. So it's about six and a quarter, you know, I'm including the case, by about three and a quarter for people who might, you know, want to compare to see if their 
consider whether their phone might fit in there. Um, so again, this is Cat's Meow. So once I, I knew I was pleased with this, oh, and a coronavirus related. So I was shopping using, just had just started using it, had it in my bag, and I went shopping. And usually I'm more prepared. I have my credit card out and in a, an easy access like slip pocket or something. So when I get to the cash register, I don't have to futz with my bag really. And I just have one like hand that I haven't been touching stuff with and I use that to grab my credit card and put it in the machine or wave it. Now I've been, I realize I, I can do touchless because I have that symbol on the credit card where I can just sort of wave it in front of the um, reader. And so I had forgotten to do all that. I hadn't prepared. And so I, I realized, oh, God, I have to go into my wallet while I'm here at the checkout with my glove on my right hand. <laughs> and I'm a righty. So it's kind of awkward. But I, I pulled this out of my bag, into a spot in my bag. I think it was a Vera tote. Or, so I, I had it laying on top of other stuff in the tote so that I, it was right on top so I could access it easily. And with my, my left hand, I mean, my, my right hand was off doing stuff. <laughs> I probably was holding my right hand like this, trying not to touch anything with <laughs> my, my contaminated glove. I was able, with my left hand, twist the turn lock, you know, open the thing. It flapped right, it flopped right open because it, it lays flat and stays open so nicely. And then I was able to get my card out easily with one hand. And when I was able, when I realized I could do all that, then I really became even more enamored of the, the wallet because I felt like it was so easy to access that way in, in an emergency when I wasn't a real emergency but in a pinch when I needed to so uh, really became even more sold on the wallet and so that's when I started to go a little crazy <laughs> um, I did order one in stitched flowers which is in my I don't have I'm gonna return it I, I it's in my return pile which is growing <laughs> um, I wasn't crazy about the pattern placement, so I uh, decided to um, to, turn, to return that one. But why I had ordered it, if people are familiar with stitched flowers and they know that lining with the hearts, which I really like, um, you know, I would have you get a nice taste of that lining in this section, in the gusset section. You see the lining the, the, that comes with the the bags and stuff in the. Um, In the turn lock section, it's just, you know, solid nylon. So that's why I had been, you know, the, the stitch flowers tempted me because of that heart lining. But the pattern placement was so poor that I don't like it enough. I'm going to send it back. But I did get one. Um, this is from the online outlet sale. So super cheap. Um, in Fox Forest, which people probably know is a Dillard's exclusive um, and for a while they had a lot of stuff in it uh, in the online out sales but I feel like they're they're slowly they must slowly be selling out of it because there are only a couple of items left in it um, in the online outlet sale and this was one of them so I went for it and um, right, the RFID turn lock wallet so it's F RFID protection um, and, and I ordered two of these the one is going back um, you know, I knew pattern placement was going to be a real crapshoot and, I, I, you know, and challenging. You know, I was hoping to get foxes on the front because stuff wraps around and it's upside down on the back. So I did get foxes, one whole one and the other one is cut off, but at least the heads are both there, but they're upside down, which, um, you know, is sort of unfortunate. But, you know, how many can I order? You know, I just can't keep ordering them and it just starts to feel a little insane. Um, <laughs> and anyway, I did get birds, you know, and I do like birds. And they're right side up, so this the, the pair here. So I, I'm going with this one. The other one, I think I might have had parts of the peacocks that are in this pattern. Um, yeah, here are the peacock necks. <laughs> um, I, I, on the other one, I had gotten some, I think some of the peacocks, but they weren't so spectacularly placed. This, these seem better, so I'm going to keep this one. This one has a slightly different um, style. The, the turn lock is a little bit different. I don't know if you can. There. 
This one is a little bit thicker. The mechanism is a little bit thicker. They both work the same. It's fine. I, I do this. This one, this older one, has a little bit lower profile. Uh, you know, this way. So it's kind of flatter this way. Um, this one sticks up more this way. But I do feel like this is a little bit easier to turn because of that. It's a little bit, I don't know. I mean, I don't have a real problem. This is also weightier than um, the part that's on the metal part that's on the flap is weightier. I don't know. I haven't used this yet, so I don't know if that, if I would prefer one or the other yet. I didn't take the plastic off of it. I didn't. Okay. Now I'm going to forget that that's there. It's going to fall on the floor and a puppy is going to eat it. <laughs> um, anyway, so <clears throat> again, you know, flips open. Here it's dark. This is a navy blue. Very dark. But once I get my cards in there, uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. And the zipper section. This is the pleather pull ties that I'm um, still on uh, both of these pleather pull ties. And again, solid nylon in this particular uh, version. So, you know, it looks like a big black hole. You can't see much, but it's the same configuration. It's the same everything in there. And, you know, because two is never enough of anything, apparently. <laughs> anything Vera. Um, I, you know, was looking on eBay at more vintage patterns in this style and found this, which I thought was, uh, I don't think it was new with tags. I think it was very excellent or very good. Um, oh, no, it was Poshmark. Uh, I got this on Poshmark. Super good price. I can't remember how much, but I mean, I think it might have been 24 25 maybe. And this is Hello Dahlia. Uh, very cute name. And um, in excellent condition, like new. I mean, uh, I don't know if the woman who was selling it was the owner, but I think it had hardly, it had hardly been used. And uh, has the ribbon pull ties, which is nice. Same type of clasp as the uh, Fox Forest one, with a little bit more weight here, and a wider, lower profile uh, turn mechanism. Again, the zipper on the back. And this pattern, of course, uh, wouldn't matter. You know, there's no right, right way up. Um, so it doesn't matter. But I did, when I saw this, you know, big dahlia there, I thought, well, that's, you know, that's good pattern placement. So I had, was looking around, and there was another one for sale. It might have been on eBay, or it might have been on, uh, still on Poshmark. I don't remember. And the pattern placement wasn't as good. So I thought, let me, let me go with this, because it's in great shape. And of course, what's nice about the older styles, it makes use of that trim on the bottom where it's wrapping around. So that's nice. The sucker for the trim. It's, it's hard to resist the items with good trim. I feel like this is a pattern with good trim. You can see the signature there in the, in the trim. This is a this is a pattern that I feel like for me is a little um, a little loud a, for a little the, mo, the the flower shapes a little, little large for a big bag, um, but I like it on small items and this is the third small thing I I have with it now, and um, so same configuration you know uh, and I did wash this went through the wash fine. Um, I like this sort of pea soup green nylon lining. Uh, uh, when I saw that too, I was like, ooh, nice and light. And it's a color, an off kind of color that I like. Um, same, same configuration here, the two pockets and everything. I do feel like that lighter fabric just helps, you know. Um, even if it's, it may even be psychological, but it just makes you feel like you can see everything better. But I'm sure once you get your cards, even if there's a darker lining, once you get your cards in there and stuff, it sort of lightens everything up and your receipts and whatever. 
Again, same configuration in there. And phone still fits. So, great. I don't remember off the top of my head what year this was. I can put that in the um, video description. But it's on the, um, this pattern is on the website in the Retired Patterns Archive. I mean, I know that archive is not totally complete, um, but this is in there. So that, that's it, my, um, my new wallet love, the RFID turn lock wallet. Um, again, that feature of the double ID windows, so I can put a photo in there, really just makes me so happy. Uh, I just, just so happy every time I open this and I can see Duke. <laughs> um, and then I just wanted to uh, show for Lorena, um, God, I hope I'm not messing up that name. Um, <laughs> The mind is the first thing to go. My memory's not always so good. Who was asking um, about, did anybody have the um, accordion? Uh, well, they were calling this for a while. I think they were calling this the double accordion wristlet. Um, I, I'm not sure what they're calling it now, whether they're calling it the accordion wristlet or wallet or what. But I use it as a wallet, and it did come with a wristlet. It's got this loop here. It did come with a wristlet strap, which I took off because it was pleather. Um, but she was curious, did anyone have one in Foxwood? And she's curious to see the pattern and was wondering whether how, how um, busy or loud the pattern might be. Um, and I do, um, my initial reaction to this pattern was that it was loud and busy and jarring. The colors were jarring. Um, but it's more in certain, only particular parts of the pattern where I feel super sensitive to that. Um, and uh, what, what's nice about this wallet is that use of the trim. If a pattern has coordinating trim, they tend to make use of it. Although, interestingly, I don't think they did with Bramble. I don't think Bramble makes use of that coordinating trim in this style. Um, you can see the, the label there, so this is technically the front. And this is another style where the piece of fabric wraps around and there's no seam on the bottom. So on the back, you know, if you're holding it right side up and you flip it around, the back is going to be upside down. But I saw that rabbit and I said, well, I've got to have it anyway. <laughs> and the back has a slip pocket. So we'll get to the, the bright elements of the pattern in a minute um, because I have another uh, item to show them in because they don't, they're not really on this, which is part of why I probably found this particular wallet appealing. Because these smaller details in the pattern are actually very nice and they're not uh, yes some of the colors are a little bit hotter than I would normally go for the, the oranges and the yellows and the reds are a little bit warmer than I would normally go for but uh, the critters uh, were appealing to me and then I really started to pay attention to all the smaller floral details especially in this trim the small trim in this pattern is, is great and so that sort of got me over that hump of the big garish flowers, which there are a couple of in, in this pattern. And this wallet, you know, is nice because it has a double gusset. So it, it's got what I'm calling a double gusset, but it's really three gusseted sections and two divider sections. So that's nice. So it opens wider. Feels like you can see what's going on in there more. And, and this is a great lining. Of course, everybody knows the Foxwood Menagerie lining that comes on the interior of Foxwood. Um, and so that's nice, you get that. You can see that jackrabbit right there, the blue. There we go. And there are, I don't know if I got any foxes, but there are foxes in this lining and the birds and the chipmunk and the field mouse. I don't know if I have any good foxes. A little, there's one in the corner. I, I don't know that I got great foxes on the lining here. Um, but, the, the, you know, that's not a deal breaker for me. I'm not always all about the foxes. Yes, it's great to have foxes, and I have a lot of stuff with foxes. But I have, do have some foxwood items that I bought just for the rabbit. So inside, it, you know, it's got that, it's got a zipper pocket there. It's got, this, this divider is also a slip pocket, which is nice. And it's got all these nice card slots. I think it's got four here, plus the 
um, you know, slip for bills, and you got an ID window here. And this side again, more, I think, four more slip card slips and another bill slot. So it, it's, you know, it's a nice, it's, uh, it's got a lot of organizational, you know, options. And again, uh, I put this on the side with the divider. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Stay in the shot. <laughs> um, you know, it fits right in there. And it fits in there even when I have cards and stuff. I mean, it's, now it's easy because there's nothing else in there giving it with. But even when I have my cards and stuff in there, I can still do this. It does get a little bit tighter, but I can still do it without forcing it. And so that's, you know, another plus for this style as well. The, the thing that, like I said, this has been my favorite style wallet up until this, which is now sort of giving it a run for its money because of those two picture windows and that lay flat section. I do like the lay flat option. And so just to call out um, the pattern, you get a better sense of the pattern here. You know, you get there, there are one or two large flowers in this pattern that I find very hot um, and noisy kind of, and that's one of them. And it doesn't appeal to me. I don't like the red and the yellow especially the yellow with the black. It's very bumblebee-like. Not, not a huge fan. Um, there it is again. Then there's this one. Also sort of insect-like, right? This whole area, right? I mean, this almost looks like the body of a bee, and these almost, these two surrounding leaves or whatever petals almost look like the wings uh, not not a big fan and there is one more um, which is not actually on this bag that's red and white and very large um, and, and so I'm glad it's not on this bag so those those three flower elements yeah I think they make it look a little they're a little off-putting for me um, and you can even see these these leaves here almost look a little electric, right? The way that they're rendered, and then the white. It's almost like the way someone drew, someone would draw something that they that is uh, they want to show as having an electric shock. They almost look like that. But I think in in context, like overall, they sort of. They don't jump out as much. Those, those big ones jump out, you know. But the smaller ones, uh, then they, they kind of meld in with everything else that's going on. And I do think when you look at the little details, they're very pretty. And this trim. I mean, I just can't even with this trim. I think it's so beautiful. The trim was really, the trim and the foxes on this bag the fox placement on this particular bag really sold me on it. But I'll put it on so you get, so you get an idea um, of how busy it might look to you. Oh, I'm very crooked today. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're, it's like I'm on a ship. <laughs> we're very, we're listing. <laughs> oh, let's see. Get better light there. So I mean I don't you know I don't know how sensitive people might be to the busyness of it. For me it's not an issue, which is surprising because I was at first I, I did it I did have that reaction of this pattern is a little loud and um, not my color scheme, my typical color scheme. But I definitely have grown to, to like it. I like it a lot, and I don't think it's kitty looking. You know, it's got the animals, but the rest of the pattern is pretty um, sophisticated looking, I feel like, from an artistic standpoint, you know. I think it's nicely done. Again, you know, could do without the big exploded, you know, flowers that look like they're exploding almost. I could do without those. And I don't think the pattern would suffer at all, but um, I'm okay with it. 
I certainly don't think it's kitty looking. So you got these critters, and they, they you know, they're not so childlike looking. Even the, even the animals themselves are, are rendered nicely. I don't think they look child too childlike. Yeah, I feel like there's a. Um, there we go. I feel like there's somewhat of a sophistication there with the um, animals. I think I got oh rabbits on the bottom. I do like that leaf over the rabbit. I think it's very interesting. Got foxes on the front. I feel like it has almost like um it's very bohemian looking, you know, it's not your typical floral print. So I, I do like it. I appreciate it for that reason. So anyway, I hope that was helpful just to, for, uh, to get a look at the pattern and, and how it looks, you know, and how it looks on this item. But I did want to show the bag because this, I don't, I didn't get too many of the big flowers in, in their entirety. You know, I just got little sort of pieces of them. This is the top of that big red and white one. Um, so, so you don't really see them on this. I, mean, I suppose you could end up with one of these that has a big flower on one side, you know, but um, I think maybe your chances of avoiding those big flowers if you wanted to are better on this kind of an item because the fabric sort of cut up and it's just a small section of the fabric. Um, anyway, so I hope people found that helpful for my Wallet Wednesday uh, turn lock wallet video. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.